one familiar name is trying to get on your ballot here in Wisconsin. Jason Calby is here with who and what it means. Hey, Ted, yeah, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He's trying to get on Wisconsin's ballot right now, a state where the last two presidential elections have been decided by less than a percentage point. Will he help or hurt Democrats or Republicans? As people bask in the sun at Milwaukee's Bradford Beach. Would you like to sign to put Kennedy on the ballot? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. supporters try to get him on Wisconsin's presidential ballot. Would anybody like to sign to get Kennedy on the ballot? No. As a youngster, Gene Collins voted for Kennedy's uncle, President John F. Kennedy. The perilous circumstances that we're in, and I have never seen anybody I trust and support as fully as I do Bobby Kennedy. In 2016 and again in 2020, about 20,000 votes separated Wisconsin's presidential winners and losers. That's less than one percentage point. Kennedy could have a big impact. The latest Marquette poll shows him getting about 8% of the state. He's polling equal numbers from Democrats and Republicans, 6% from each party. You know, when they stop at your table, they're going to say, I would potentially vote third party, but I don't want to, quote, waste my vote. What do you say to them? I say look at the news cycle. If we had two tangible candidates, two strong candidates, that would be a favorable argument. Rainer Baker says he voted for Donald Trump in 2020, Hillary Clinton in 2016, and then Democrats before that. Now he's going with Kennedy. I, mean, I think that I'm the voice for representing people that have voted before but done so with distaste in their mouth. July 1st was the first day these campaign volunteers could start collecting signatures. They have a little over a month to collect 2,000 Wisconsin signatures. If confirmed, that would put another name on your ballot. It's serious. This is serious. Now, when factoring just Biden versus Trump, the latest Marquette poll has a tie. When factoring in third parties like Kennedy and the Green Party's Jill Stein, Trump takes a very slight lead. You can see both the Trump and Biden campaign criticizing Kennedy. There's a lot out there right now. It shows both sides are a little worried about this independent candidate.